So my first full length video part would have been Speed Freaks, uh, the Santa Cruz Speed Wheels video number one. Um, I said that sort of put me on the map. Um, you know, I did a lot of stuff in the video that probably people hadn't been doing before, a lot of combo tricks, sliding type stuff. Uh, you know, that's the one that had the kickflip wall ride. I did stuff that, like I said, I did every day in just normal skateboarding and just pushed sort of the progression um, at the time, but nothing more than any other guys like Matt Hensley and these guys were doing as well in other cities. I'll never want to claim like I did something first, you know. Maybe I did it first, but I was the one that got on video and published first, you know. Um, what pushed me to that though was just a natural progression of, of skateboarding, like, uh, man, you know, if you do something uh, stationary, you do a nose pick stationary, why not make a nose pick and a nose grind, you know? And if you can do a kick flip on the flat ground, why can't you kick flip to a 50-50, you know? And that, that was sort of my train of thought back then, was just keep the progression going, you know? Um, different entries into stuff, half cabs, and just, you know, making things different. Uh, it was just a natural progression of my opinion of once ollies and kick flips started to become like the norm in street skating and it moved away thank God, from street plants and jump ramps. Yeah. Filming a video part back then consisted of basically one day. The filmers show up at your house, uh, like Tony Roberts was the one that filmed that whole video. He literally called me in the morning, said, hey, I'm gonna be at your house at 10 o'clock. We're gonna film all day, and then he was gonna bail out, and that's basically what he did. He just showed up at my house like 10 o'clock. We skated all day, filmed everything, and then he bailed out that night, you know, one day, you know?